Hello and welcome to Around Town. I'm Councilman Chris Hamm and we're at the grand reopening of the Ole Hansen Beach Club. This grand reopening symbolizes the revival of the Beach Club and is a fun opportunity for our community to come together to celebrate this piece of San Clemente history. Speaking of history, the Beach Club was constructed in 1928 by San Clemente visionary and founder Ole Hansen. The Beach Club was in need of critical rehabilitation and had to be brought up to new building codes. So vital repairs were made to restore this historic landmark to its former glory. Ole Hansen gifted the facility to the community and the residents for all to enjoy for recreation and celebrations. I have great memories of learning to swim here as a young boy and I bet a lot of you have learned to swim here as well. Without further delay, let's join the celebration. This is a momentous occasion and for this momentous occasion we're going to be cutting a terrific ribbon here in just a few minutes but I've asked two very special people in town to come and say a few words. We used to come down to the swimming pool here constantly, day after day after day. And during that time, and I believe it was 1938, somewhere right in there close, but I used to climb up on the bank here. There wasn't any house up there at all. It was just all grass and weeds. And I used to sit up there and I'd watch my father on top of the casino over there with hammer and nails and he was helping build a casino. Of course, then we came back here and my buddies and myself and all of us used to come back here and go in the pool quite often. And after doing that fun time, I'd go over to the railroad tracks and watch the train come by that delivered the mail. We learned early on how we could get to the pool and pay the entrance fee without having to beg for it from mom or whomever. We would collect empty soda bottles in the empty lots and return them to the store, Adair's Market or Haywood's um, Variety Store, for the two cent deposit. And we got enough. We came down here and we usually had enough money to get into the pool and buy a 15 cent hamburger, which was absolutely delicious and uh, proceeded to come here practically every day, all summer. And of course, the beach was a drawing card too, but there was something about a swimming pool when you couldn't swim. And that's where we all learned to swim, is right here at the pool, as did all my children and grandchildren and some of the great-grandchildren. But six generations of Divels and Driscolls have enjoyed this building. Bob Carrick. Uh, was invited, couldn't make it, he's 91 today, so let's wish Bob a happy birthday. This event provides a wonderful opportunity for the community to celebrate the triumphant return of this enduring symbol of San Clemente's rich history and Ole Hansen's lasting legacy. So it's with great pleasure that I present this proclamation congratulating the Ole Hansen Beach Club on its occasion of the grand reopening and highly commend the city of San Clemente for its outstanding commitment to return this historic and beloved landmark back to its original splendor. So congratulations on behalf of the County of Orange. Thank you. Thank you. I'm standing here with Amir Alkanipour. Amir, tell us what you do for the city. I am a senior civil engineer and I was the project manager for this project. Well, Amir, it turned out fantastic. And I think there's a couple people that you want to thank through this process. Uh, thank you, yes, of course. Uh, it's, uh, and those people are the staff from uh, Public Works Engineering Department, from the Building Department, from the Beaches uh, Park and Recreation Area, and our utility staff. Okay, and this project took quite a number of years. So is there anybody else you'd like to thank? 
Yes, uh, and also I wanted to extend uh, my uh, appreciation to uh, the construction management team, which is a consultant, DUDAC, and uh, uh, those uh, staff were very instrumental in making sure all the aspects of the project, the plan specs were uh, in place uh, properly. How about a special shout out to the neighbors of the Lily Hansen Beach Club? Oh yeah, of course. Uh, I would like to uh, apologize to the residents, you know, for all the time that uh, the facility was taken away from them. But of course, we were doing all the improvements and making it even better for them to come back. Well, I'd just like to say a big thanks to the residents of San Clemente for putting up with all this. And I think we did a fantastic job. So Amir, thank you to you and your staff. And thank you to uh, all the construction people and the rest of the uh, workers for the city of San Clemente. I'm standing here with Sarah from 24 Carats. 24 Carats is our second contractor in the city at one of our municipal facilities. And Sarah, tell us how excited 24 Carats is here to be at the Ole Hansen Beach Club. We are immensely elated to be a part of the Ole Hansen Beach Club. And when is the first event that you guys are hosting here? We actually have a cocktail reception this coming Thursday. Now, our cocktail reception is the only things that you guys will be hosting here at the Ole Hansen Beach Club? It will not be. We do anything from baby showers to rehearsal dinners all the way up to full-scale weddings. Okay, and that leads me to another question. Are we going to have food, beverage? What are you guys going to offer here at the Ole Hansen Beach Club? Anything that's event-related. We have lighting packages, DJ packages, food, bar packages, anything that the client needs, we're happy to provide. Now, one of the things we did uh, in remodeling was we added a bride's quarters. Tell us about the bride's quarters. We have a little tuck away suite for a bride that's able to get ready yet, um, as early as 8 a.m. if she needs. Um, everything for hair and makeup is all provided inside. And we added air conditioning, so now you can come in the hottest days of the summer, right? Yep, absolutely. It's still stay nice and cool. Perfect. Well, Sarah, thanks for your time, and we'll see you My soon. Pleasure. I'm standing here with Chad Costello, construction manager here at the Lay Hansen Beach Club. Chad, why don't you tell us about your experience working on the Lay Hansen Beach Club? Uh, I was uh, here from day one uh, for the project that was slated for one year of construction. Uh, we're just wrapping up here one year and nine months later. Uh, we face many challenges here uh, as this is a 1929 built building uh, which was not up to current building codes or standards. Uh, went through a lot of trying times here uh, but with the support of the city staff and the design team here we were able to uh, create this beautiful place it will be a gem for the city for years to come. And it, I, the rumor around uh, the Ole Hans Beach Club is that you're going to be hosting the first event here. That is true. Uh, we'll be hosting the first private event uh, and hope to see you all there. Perfect. And tell us about one of the things I noticed when I walked in when the construction was undergoing. I noticed that the posts weren't secured to the floors was one of the major issues. And so we had some issues with some particle board as well. Correct. Uh, as I mentioned before, this building was not built to current day seismic codes. Uh, so a lot of thought and engineering went into that, uh, bringing it up to seismic codes. We have many uh, structural steel beams and posts that were installed, as well as uh, bolting the members to the new concrete foundation. Uh, as Chris mentioned, we had a uh, particle board that was behind the existing plaster, uh, which was causing moisture issues, not only mold, but uh, deterioration in the building. Uh, we have since rectified that, fixed it, and brought everything up to current code. Well, Chad, thank you for all your hard work, and thank you for your team's hard work. Thank you, Chris. I'm standing here on the west deck with one of San Clemente's locals here. And Andy, why don't you tell me a little bit about what you learned here as a kid? Oh, boy. Uh, where do I start? This pool was huge to me and all my brothers growing up here. We all took swimming lessons here. Um, it was the beginning of junior lifeguards. It was all right here. Um, the, the biggest problem when they took away our high dive was just crushed us all. But uh, yeah, it was absolutely the highlight of our day when mom would drop us off here. And how excited are you to have this Holy Hands Beach Club back up to the level it is? I, I, I'm blown away. I can't believe how nice it looks. And I'm ready to jump in right now. Um, absolutely. Now, who's this pretty lady standing in the background filming us also? Uh, this is my wife, Teresa Ham. Uh, we got married here in 1985. How many years ago was that? Ah, uh, yeah, 31 years. <laughs> <laughs> we're still here on the West Deck, and we're talking to Natalie Krajowski, who also learned to swim here at the Lay Hands Beach Club. Yes. And Natalie is a special uh, guest here because her grandfather is? Robert Carrick. And Robert was one of our patriarchs who was invited to this event, but he wasn't able to make it because today's a special day for Robert. What day is today? Today is his birthday, 91 years old. And that's fantastic. And in honor of Robert, you have your newborn son here. And what is your son's name? 
We named him Carrick after my grandfather. We're standing here on the East Deck with Deputy Public Works Director Dave Riebensdorf. Dave, tell us a little bit about what you did to bring the Ole Hansen Beach Club back up to the standard that it is today. Well, I, I did a little myself, but uh, really the credit would be uh, more towards uh, Pam Passow and Amir Akanapur. Um, but there was a lot of negotiations with the contractor and really working through um, some of the construction challenges um, that happened throughout the project. Um, as of just a few days ago, uh, the pool wasn't even full of water, so we were um, a little nervous that it wouldn't make it by uh, today, but uh, fortunately, two days ago, the pool was filled with water. So. so we're coming down right to the wire to get this thing open and running, right? It was very close, yes, sir. And how excited are you that we're done with this project and we can put it behind us and move on to the next one? Uh, very excited. We still have some change orders to negotiate and a couple items to take care of, but uh, we're right next to the finish line. So. Fantastic. Well, Dave, thank you for your time and thank you for all your hard work you did. Though we had numerous challenges in getting this structure up to standards, we had a superb city team and construction professionals who overcame these challenges and produced what I think is a job well done. Until next time, I'll see you around town. <laughs>